Okay, we may be in February, but there have been some days that feel more like spring melts melting away any ice and snow. Yeah, not just some days. There have been many days. This means bad news for our ice castles as meteorologist Cesar Cornejo explains. And not only have we had just a dry winter, but it's been a pretty warm one as well. But as we know this year, winter hasn't really been kind to us, especially not the ice castles in Midway. This year has really been a th throwing a loop for us. Uh, so we've been in this, this, this market for the past 11 years, and this is actually our second shortest season in the past 11 years. Typically, we're a six to eight week attraction. The warm temperatures and strong sunshine have caused issues to maintain the ice. The sun is just, we, we, we can build it, we can spray water on it, but the sun's just melting so fast. As soon as the sun's up, you're just, you can just hear the drips as you're walking through the castle. With nine days above 40 degrees and over 20 days above 35 in both January and February, Ice Castles has decided to close this week for the season. But last minute visitors do not need to worry as the ice is still safe to be around and enjoy before they close. With our ice, it's not because it's not dangerous because it bonded ice bonded to ice is, is a whole lot safer than ice bonded to the roof. It's not like something's going to fall off the castle. So thanks to water's cohesive properties and the hard work the crew puts in for maintenance, it is still safe, but maybe a bit slushier. Even though we see some of the melting, we still have the opportunity to go out and enjoy the beautiful ice here in Midway. In Midway, meteorologist Cesar Cornejo, ABC4 News. All right, if you'd like more information on tickets or on the ice castles, you can visit our website, abc4.com.